everyone, welcome to our Jira how-to video series where we are covering the most commonly asked questions about Jira. I'm Nikki from Jexo and in this video we are going to have a look on how we can create the roadmap in Jira. So in Jira you can find two different project types. It's a company managed project or a team managed project. The reason why this is important for setting up your Jira roadmap is uh, because the settings is placed in a different, different places. So in the company managed projects, you can see if you're in a company managed project over here, if you would like to switch on the roadmap, you just go to the project, click on this dot dot menu, and then go to the board settings. And then here you can see the settings of your board from the general um, up until roadmap. So what we are looking for is this roadmap section where you can switch on this toggle and then the roadmap is automatically enabled for your project. If you go to your roadmap, you can see all the epics for this project in this view. You can quickly just click on the roadmap if the, if the epic isn't scheduled and you can drag and drop to reschedule. There are also dependencies that you can make use of. So if you hover over here and drag and drop to another issue, it would create a dependency so you would be able to see them on the roadmap. If there are any risks for the uh, for the epic as well, then you can see the this kind of like alert over here, and there are also releases visible on the roadmap. So if you're you're using releases in your Jira, you could also make use of this. There are different views, so there's a quarterly, monthly, or weekly view. If you are using epics in your Jira, you're probably already linking them to your issues, to your stories and tasks. So you could find these stories and tasks under these epics if you just expand or you can also expand the epic detail and see the side panel with the progress there are also very basic filter here filters here on the top that you can use uh, in order to filter out the dashboard there's quite a new setting that was introduced quite recently that we can explore now together so here in the configure roadmap, you can also switch on the child level issues scheduling. So I think that was released very, very recently. And if you go back to your board, we can now also schedule our uh, stories and our issues on the roadmap. Now in the team managed project, it behaves slightly differently. So let's just navigate to one of our team managed project. So if you would like to switch on the roadmap here in this view, you go to project settings and there is a features tab where you can see the roadmap. So after you switch this on and navigate back to your project menu, you would find the roadmap tab over here. And again, you would see the epics on this roadmap. You can double click on the roadmap in order to schedule. You can drag and drop to reschedule the item. And you would also be able to see a more issues under each epic if you already assigned them or you can assign the new ones here from this view. Now to mention, these roadmaps that you can find in Jira only work on your project level. So you would be able to see the issues and epics from that one particular project that you are currently in. If you are looking for cross project roadmap that you can use in Jira to bring all of these roadmaps together, you can have a look on one of our apps Swanly. Swanly is a tool that helps you bring all of the different roadmaps from Jira projects into one big roadmap view where you can clearly see the progress from across your projects. You can find Swanly on the Atlassian marketplace. And that's about it for the video on how you can create a roadmap in Jira. I hope that you learned something new about uh, roadmaps in company managed and team managed projects and something new also about how you can create a cross project roadmap in Jira with Swanly. If you have any questions, make sure to leave us a comment below and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the next videos.